Look at the condition of these decals on sear handle. We need new decals and it looks like we need a nickel plating. Let's see if it works. So unfortunately it does not work at all. So we need to fix this. Once we loosen all the triangle shaped screws, we need to remove the uh, gearbox. And let me tell you, I think I'm gonna wash all the parts since we need to get rid of these decals. Definitely needs a good wash and uh, a little too sharp. It does need a red lining all around. To remove the decals, you can soaking wet these um, decals in water or you can use um, heat gun. I'm using the heat gun. Also, there is a DW40 or WD40. Yeah, correct me, I don't remember. Look how easy it came off when you use the heat gun. You can use a rubbing alcohol too. Works well too, it takes a little bit more time. Decals are gone and I'm gonna wash it now. We are giving three bolts. Oh, I can see there is a lot of corrosion right there. Maybe there is no contact from here. Let me see. No, does not work at all. Look how it looks inside. Okay, let's begin. First, it's just a little the battery corrosion, but that's not a big deal. There's some sort of um, little pebbles. I don't know if this works. Uh, let's do a little spin, 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 and see if it works now. So we connect three bolts, and now, okay, it's working. There you can see it's, um, Keeping a lot of spins. All right, that's done. Now we need to get rid of the battery corrosion. Can you guys see this little metal piece coming out of the uh, battery terminal? That means uh, it's losing the nickel plating. So we need to nickel plate the entire battery terminal just to make sure there is no uh, corrosion building up coming soon. Yeah, I clean it with a white vinegar, but that it just removes the green battery corrosion, but I still need to nickel plate uh, all the parts. Here is my nickel solution. All right, let's begin. If you see the bubbles, that means uh, we are nickel plating. That's the chemical reaction, electrochemical reaction, and we are passing the nickel to the parts. I hope I don't drop the motor in the solution. Anyways, you're not gonna believe it, but I just say I should not drop it, but I drop it inside the solution. Anyways, I'm still gonna make it work. Look, there is a crack here on this cog. So I already loosened these little tabs and we can pull the motor out and get rid of the water, I mean the solution. And I'm gonna let it dry for a couple minutes. All right, it is working. We need to put the motor back later. Look at that, shiny, shiny, shiny. Yep, that's good. All right, we need to put this motor back together and it's easy, pretty easy, it's not hard. Old and new cog, all right. First we do a test if it works and it's working. Excellent. Motor ready with lube. Very smooth and quiet motor. Excellent. Parts wash and dry. Touch up with oil base marker. Very nice. Let's not forget the funnel. Okay, let's continue assemble this, um, come on, model. That is uh, looking good. I just need to do a little touch up buffers. Only thing missing, the cals. I think that's better than nothing. 
very good very good excellent let's do a test run for key handle good 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 works good fast enough yep runs pretty good okay let me see I'm just gotta make sure it works correctly perfect next we have Harvey Harvey is a model 2009 Mattel and as you can see there are some decals that need to be replaced this model looks very good actually if you notice the difference this does not have a black rooftop now we need to remove uh, those decals and fix them but also there is something I want to show you if you pay if you pay attention right here it's a cracked cog so it makes the clicking noise from time to time and uh, jumps do you notice that all right let's get started first remove the top remove the body remove two screws on the bottom pull this model really hard then pull the gear i mean the axle and as you can see there is the problem right there there is a crack right here still engaged but sometimes skips but it's spinning right now so we just pull really hard like that and remove the cog i definitely need just the rod so i'm using my riveting tool to get rid of the wheel from the rod now we can proceed and we are going to do tap it tap it tap it then using my riveting tool i just adjust until the line mark it like this right here and i'm going to cut this part Please do not try this at home. And now I just need to remove the excess. And here is my new driving axle. Next is very easy, put the wheels back. That is perfect. The motor wasn't the problem, only the driving axle. Look at that triangle screw. And that is a big difference. All right, let's do a test, see if it works. Now we put the pressure on the wheels and as you can see, it's running perfect, perfect. Now we just need to focus on Harvey itself, remove these uh, decals. I am using a heat gun, so do not obtain this at home. It's very dangerous. Now my decals come off very easily perfect other side too good 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 make sure you remove all the glue remaining from the stickers or decals my lights way too bright now i'm going to apply a shadow that's the real color excellent all right let's put the first one that is looking good and the second one that looks good what do you guys think very good i mean it's better than before sorry guys i no longer have those decals for sale but anyways we have a complete set working set excellent harvey 2009 mattel great 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 excellent with decals now test run for harvey good Excellent, excellent. Working perfect. I like it, I like it. That is good. I think we need to touch up the um, eyebrows. I'll do that off camera. Bye, Harvey. Next we have Dart. Dart is pretty much beat up. <laughs> there is a lot of um, scoof marks uh, around the rooftop. But anyways, uh, 2010 Mattel. It does have a lot of corrosion, heavy corrosion. And let's begin to fix it. 
So this time it's a fix and repair, no restoration. So we just need to fix and repair uh, that. And that's a very rusty screw. Oh man, also in here. Okay. All right, let's fix the battery terminal. That's a lot of battery corrosion. I don't know if this uh, battery terminal uh, looks strong. Uh, sometimes it breaks uh, right here in this uh, bend, but looks looks okay. First, we gotta give um, white vinegar bath. As you can see, the white vinegar is removing the corrosion. I'm gonna leave it for one minute. See the chemical reaction. Very good, very good. In the meantime, we remove all the corrosion, battery corrosion uh, um, located in the chassis. Now I gotta focus on the motor. I don't know if it works or not yet. But let's find out. I don't see any. It's um, completely dead. I think we gotta do open it and give a little spin. Basically, what we gotta do is we gotta um, turn this cog, or if you remove everything from the gearbox, just continue spinning until um, it clears a little bit, until the filaments makes contact. I am trying now it makes contact excellent but something seems to be loose we need to clean the lever okay lever has been cleaned and ready to go don't forget to clean and add some lube final test the nickel plate the part I expose the copper plating. Now I am nickel plating. That is looking good. Here goes the rivet, riveting tool. Good. Quick test, it works, but it is keeping a step. Uh, one of these gears is broken, so at least it's working. Now we need to replace this. Uh, yes, right there. See the big crack? Yes, right here. We need to change this part. Okay, we gotta remove the cog. I need the rod only, I don't need the wheels. Good. Making good progress. Now let's put the wheels. I always add some lube. Making a test. Strong, strong. Yeah, that's the safety feature to avoid. It is very strong. Excellent. Replacement screw. Making good progress. I guess I'm just going to touch up a little bit around the roof cab. And that's pretty much it. All right, we are done with DART. DART, test run for DART. Let's see, good, good, good. Yep, good speed, not bad. Not bad, yep. Excellent. I, I just gotta make sure it works properly also. Good. Good test run. Okay. Okay, Dodge. This Dodge is 1997 Tommy. And it looks like it does have a little corrosion. That can be easy fix. 
but we are going to see if it runs no it does not respond at all i'm gonna use white vinegar how does it look it looks clean huh now we can try and it works cool and it's very fast good now i'm gonna dedose just a little bit i can't i can't put any decals right now so i'm just gonna the dust and get this ready to hit the stores pretty soon we might also need to clean and touch up the face what a big difference right cool test run for dodge Ooh, good good fast fast enough yep runs perfect Excellent. I love it. Good, good, good. Good traction, good speed. Pretty good. Alright, we are done with the fix and repair. Thanks for watching.